Welcome, Buj, uh, to the 14th ECW Conversation Hour. Thank you. Uh, this is a monthly conversation that we host uh, for everyone in the world. I mean, everyone is free to join us. There's no registration required. I'm really, very really glad to have you here. Thank you. And to others, Butch is a major face of uh, the Wikimini ISAP. And he has, you know, a very uh, huge experience within the Wikimedia ecosystem. He has hosted and he has been the major figure for a quite number of conferences that I'm really not aware of. Uh, he was the key figure and one of the prominent organizers of Wikimania Singapore. And I was personally fortunate to have met him there. And he is a technology enthusiast, of course. And uh, being the event lead of Wikimania Singapore uh, and uh, the purpose uh, being evaluation and iteration because events keep, you know, uh, happening in our movement. So we had this thought to have Butch here to tell us about the experiences from Wikimedia Singapore that others and Butch himself could evaluate and iterate within the Wikimedia movement for a better outcome. Yeah, welcome Butch and the floor is to you. Thank you. Thank you, Afi. So basically, as I mentioned on the um, closing re uh, ceremony, I was actually just an accidental uh, figure in uh, the movement. Uh, uh, I was just a, a plain editor uh, about 18 years ago. Imagine that, 18 years ago. Uh, in uh, in the Philippines, I was just editing just random articles, uh, just uh, articles about uh, regional games and the, the Olympics. Uh, that was my first project. And then uh, later on, I was uh, immersed into uh, the uh, editing community of the Philippines. And I was uh, I joined a a chapter Wikimedia Philippines at that time in 2010, and then uh, my first uh, experience into the international foray was the the precursor of the Wikimedia Summit, which is called the Wikimedia Conference. Uh, as uh, we know that it's still held uh, in Berlin. So my first experience into the international community was in Berlin, Germany, in 2012. Uh, the first talks about Wikimania uh, also uh, in my mind happened on that uh, year as well. Uh, very curious, what is this Wikimania? Oh, this is just a international conference of uh, enthusiasts and uh, users of the Wikimedia uh, movement. And uh, in 2013, I was uh, lucky to be uh, to join the uh, Wikimania in Hong Kong. Uh, Hong Kong is just 30 minutes away from Manila. So uh, basically it's just, uh, I flew in from work and then uh, flew back uh, from uh, Wikimania back to work. So uh, that's uh, my uh, experience in, in Hong Kong in 2013. Uh, at first, uh, I was uh, well, just like any newbie, in, uh, in going to Wikimania was uh, somewhat culture shock. And, uh, and also I evaluated the ways uh, a newcomer uh, would experience when they're joining a, a gargantuan conference uh, for the first time. So basically uh, the first thing that you would experience where the, the, the newcomers would go. Uh, there are a lot of things that I was not able to grasp because it's somewhat advanced level, somewhat, some are medium level, but I uh, still yet to grasp because I was just a normal editor in the Philippines uh, on a local affiliate, uh, no, no much exposure in the international arena. Uh, but uh, the uh, Wikimania 2013 was a great learning experience for me. Uh, at least uh, I would be able to. Uh, I was able to get uh, more international uh, connections and uh, collaborations with uh, various Wikimedia all across the globe. Uh, just expanding my reach uh, beyond the Philippines. 
2014, uh, I migrated here in Singapore uh, as a uh, te uh, information technology professional. Uh, I left uh, the Philippines. I also left uh, uh, being in the uh, uh, organization, uh, the local chapter in the Philippines uh, full time. I was uh, just focused as just a plain editor. That was 2014. So it was just uh, my first uh, experience of remote participation happened in 2014 when I was just watching uh, Wikimania London in uh, in my mobile phone uh, and uh, experience watching what's going on in, in London. Uh, I tried my luck in 2015, uh, write my scholarship application. Uh, I haven't done a outreach uh, much, uh, but uh, the organizers of the 2015 uh, conference, which is in Mexico, uh, recognized my efforts and uh, got I got my second uh, scholarship in 2015. Uh, 2015 was a very memorable uh, conference for me because uh, I have experienced a 27-hour uh, flight <laughs> from Singapore because I was uh, fearing using the Pacific route because it was fresh in my mind that the, the Malaysian Airlines crash happened uh, at that time. So I was fearful going to the ocean route. So I tried to ask if I could uh, be considered going to the land route, which is, uh, I mean, the, uh, the, the land air route, uh, which is going westward. And that is a longer flight. And that's that 27 hours flight. And uh, I was uh, immersed in the uh, Wikimania Mexico uh, audience. And uh, I met a lot of uh, uh, people in uh, the conference, uh, which I would dearly uh, miss uh, because uh, some of them uh, work in the foundation and some of them are already leaders in the, the Wikimedia movement, uh, just like Rosie, uh, uh, Silesh, and uh, among others. Okay, And then uh, I was not really involved in the uh, plan of uh, Manila uh, to join, uh, to host Wikimedia. So tw in 2016, there was a uh, bid uh, uh, between um, Sinolario in Italy and uh, Manila. So uh, the proposal for Manila is a convention center. Uh, uh, so the convention center setup is not yet uh, fully adapted from the Wikimedia community, which is having uh, a uh, the conferences on schools uh, and uh, uh, and local ho uh, student hostels. So, uh, and then also there was a, a expectation that there's a typhoon in uh, in the Philippines uh, when, if it will happen in uh, August of uh, 2016. So uh, another choice is Isinolario, which is a uh, rural village in, uh, or uh, not so urban village in, uh, in uh, Italy, but it you have you have a very uh, scenic uh, view of Lake Como, which is uh, bordering near uh, Switzerland already. So that's already an added bonus. Uh, I was not in the twenty sixteen uh, conference because I was uh, too focused on the work. Okay, so uh, my next uh, foray in Wikimania is in twenty seventeen. Uh, my best experience in twenty seventeen. This is the first time that we have discussed. Uh, the uh, the use of video on uh, Wikimania. Uh, many had complained that uh, Wikimania is not recorded properly. Uh, what is the future of video production in Wikimedia in uh, the Wikimedia movement? So that opened my eyes on uh, some thoughts that maybe we could uh, host a Wikimania in the future and incorporating these ideas. Uh, 2018, I didn't uh, participate in Wikimania. Uh, for, I just focused on work. Uh, but on 2018, I was uh, I, I joined in the uh, what's this uh, movement strategy uh, process. So I was uh, went back again from hibernation to uh, again to international uh, conversation regarding the future of the Wikimedia movement. And uh, at that time. Uh, 
being just uh, a silent uh, IT professional in Singapore, uh, the first uh, idea of Wikimania first brought out to me by Andrew on uh, August of 2018. Uh, Singapore is a crazy idea. We only have, uh, we don't have a, a real community in Singapore. Uh, and uh, we thought that it would be, uh, it would be just better if we could just consider our colleagues in the ISEAP region. Uh, Thailand was only just uh, proposing to host a international, I'm sorry, a, uh, an ISEAP or regional conference in 2020. However, we elevated that idea of what if we could just make Wikimania uh, in Bangkok. So it, it takes a while uh, for correspondence uh, uh, with the, the Thai people and we're able to convince them to, uh, to host uh, Wikimania, but with a setup with a, a regional community, which was not done before. So basically uh, the ESIAP was really the guinea pig of, of uh, the next generation of uh, Wikimania hosting. So uh, in 2019, we formed uh, this uh, small committee uh, for organizing committee, uh, expecting that the Wikimania will happen in August of 2020. Uh, early on, we have, uh, we have a first uh, glance of uh, business contingency. At first, we jumped the idea of business contingency. <laughs> what do I do? I do we need that business contingency. But uh, later on, we appreciate the use of business contingency when the COVID-19 happened on uh, March of 2020. So it, it became a, a turning point for us that uh, uh, contingency planning is one of the essential things in hosting an international event. So uh, the ESIAP folks just decided, uh, since it will be just virtual, uh, why not just give it to in the, the international, international community to host? So in 2021, uh, Wikimania came, uh, 2020, we didn't have Wikimania. 2021, we have Wikimania and 2022, but in the uh, virtual setup. Uh, that is the first time that uh, we have experienced a totally different Wikimania, but it is a good uh, lesson uh, for future planning. And that it was uh, uh, adopted in 2023, wherein uh, we didn't uh, totally lost the, uh, the virtual setup. And uh, we incorporated that in the uh, live, uh, uh, activities in uh, Singapore, uh, which is it happened in Santec Convention Center, which is my virtual background. This is not real, okay? <laughs> so I'm not locked in the convention center. So uh, so I'm uh, the Santec Convention Center is a perfect setup. This is again uh, uh, a decade ago. Uh, many had doubt that the convention center won't won't be feasible for. Uh, the Wikimedia movement that, that it turned out that uh, it's a it's a most convenient way uh, with a growing community uh, to bring all together in a single area wherein all the facilities that we need for international conferences and uh, hybrid uh, setup are present. So uh, what we have experienced right now, including uh, the uh, camera setup, the uh, uh, the uh, the things that we learn in previous decades were in uh, how do we treat the newcomers? How do we ensure uh, the conference is so uh, well diverse, uh, uh, catering to a, uh, all uh, the needs of, of uh, different type of Wikimedians uh, from uh, uh, the prayer room. Uh, and uh, by the way, uh, this is the first time that uh, Singapore have experienced a uh, gender neutral uh, toilet. So that's uh, aside from the uh, artificial intelligence, uh, which is uh, a headline of 2023, the top news on uh, 2023 was the gender neutral toilet in Sante Convention Center, which is actually um, uh, an open idea because it was Singapore w w just uh, repealed a law on the uh, the uh, prohibition of uh, gay sex. So uh, now uh, Singapore is not uh, that uh, uh, going back to the uh, old uh, uh, centuries of uh, penalizing the the LGBTQI people. 
but uh, of course so we recognize also the uh, the people who have a uh, rich uh, cultural heritage uh, that is why we also respect the uh, the uh, Muslim people to have their prayer rooms uh, in, in ensure that the uh, the, the uh, Jewish community would be able to go to the synagogue on their uh, respective hours uh, have a, we, uh, a women's summit uh, to uh, Okay, uh, cater the future of the feminism movement, and uh, of course encourage people to set up uh, meetups and uh, discuss the future of the Wikimedia movement, which is uh, uh, the uh, subsidiary or the uh, devolution principle. Right now, we could just uh, devolve the decision into hubs, and uh, the total unexpected. Uh, uh, circumstance in 2023 was the rise of artificial intelligence. Uh, we're, when we're planning Wikimania uh, way back of uh, September to November of 2022, artificial intelligence were not in our mind. Uh, we were just thinking about uh, movement strategy as the, the topic for the future. However, uh, just in time, in February of 2020, uh, three uh, going to March of 2023, uh, the hot topic was uh, Chat GPT and uh, Dal E in regards to the uh, uh, the drawing and uh, uh, Hey Gen for the uh, audio uh, artificial intelligence. So uh, we the uh, program committee received a lot of uh, program submissions related to artificial intelligence. So uh, we don't want the the topic to be the elephant in the room, but of course we give them uh, the proper uh, uh, program block in uh, Wikimania 2023. So that in a way changed the way we're able to uh, organize the event because we're also adaptable uh, to the changing times in uh, in the world, okay? And then also we also recognize the, uh, the growing community of uh, Wikimedians all across the globe, including the Africans, uh, uh, South Americans, uh, Eastern Europeans. So uh, all their concerns as well were, were brought into the table in Wikimedia. That, that includes uh, the Africa Baraza. We also have the, uh, uh, the Iberikov uh, specific uh, topics. Uh, we also have uh, uh, the, the highly uh, discussed topic about the IP range blocking. Uh, which is being experienced by our communities in uh, uh, the developing economies, in, including underdeveloped com communities across the globe. So uh, with, with that, uh, we appreciate all the, uh, uh, the evaluation given by our community. We did serve uh, the community with uh, the things that they want in a conference. But uh, of course, this is just the start Again, as I mentioned earlier in this conversation, we are the guinea pig of the next generation of uh, Wikimania planning. And we're uh, hoping the Eastern European, uh, Central and Eastern Europeans, uh, I see Nikos here, I know, don't know if you're part of the planning of, of uh, Wikimania 2024, but uh, we're looking forward to a, a much better uh, Wikimania in, uh, in uh, Katowice, uh, Poland. That is uh, for now. Thank you. Long introduction, but uh, that's a, a, a overview of Wikimedia as well. Yeah, this was really, you know, Butch telling us a history of over 10 to 12 years in 25 minutes. <laughs> Thank you. If uh, you have any questions, feel free to ask. And Butch is here to tell us from Singapore. Uh, hello, uh, am I audible? And yes. can I ask the question? Yes. Um, it was really great to hear you speak and as you navigated from how you started. And I think someone has just mentioned the term that you used, a uh, hibernation to conversation. So that was great. Yeah. So just getting to know that 
how your story started or how you started with the wikimedia and then the whole thing that you explained it was good to know that and uh, how would you suggest someone who is a newcomer to the to to this uh, platform i would rather say uh, how should one navigate although i don't want that specific um, path to be laid on but what do you suggest would be the right way to go ahead yes actually in a global sense uh, virus uh, communities all across the globe already starting uh, their initiatives in doing uh, newcomer engagement uh, i saw one post from uh, rwanda uh, that they have uh, a whole day activity just for the whole uh, newcomers uh, in perspective of wikimania uh, we in uh, based on our lessons on the past 10 years uh, from the time that I first joined Wikimania and then the other organizing committee members who have been uh, to older Wikimanias, uh, we saw that uh, we need to ensure that the, the, uh, the uh, sustainability of uh, the movement uh, will be pragmatic and uh, and then, of course, uh, it will be uh, useful. Uh, that's why uh, we need to ensure that every Wikimania has a newcomer event, a newcomer hour, or uh, a certain time block for newcomers. Uh, what we have introduced in 2023 uh, is uh, a newcomer track wherein uh, those who have totally no idea what is the Wikimedia movement is just walking from the convention center. We have a catered event for that. Uh, that's, uh, uh, we have an orientation, uh, uh, orientation hour, and then followed by uh, the uh, basics of uh, the Wikimedia projects. Uh, that includes Wikipedia, uh, Wikidata, uh, Wikisource, uh, Wiktionary, uh, yeah, and Commons. Okay, But uh, we haven't uh, gone through beyond that one like wiki code uh, wiki voyage and uh uh but uh, we have some pro program uh, activities for wiki voyage uh, there was a uh, one submission for wiki voyage and uh, uh the pre conference in uh, in google uh discussed about wiki voyage wiki code also was uh, highlighted in two uh, submissions uh and uh we also debuted uh, the wiki functions, which uh, we, we allocated one hour because this is the first time uh, people will have a, a first hand or a, a end user look of uh, how a wiki functions work. So we catered to from newcomers to advanced thinkers in the, the movement. But of course, we never left any Wikimedians behind because as as I uh, started in the Wikimedia movement, I started not as an experienced editor, but a newcomer on your move movement in uh, 2013. That, that is why I know how you feel uh, when you're joining Wikimedia either on site or online for the first time, that uh, you will need uh, a lot of uh, conversations and uh, a lot of uh, uh, thought thinking uh, before engaging with community members. And we're happy that community members are very welcome uh, to newcomers uh, as well. Uh, I saw a lot of people uh, pu pulling aside, going to uh, side tables, teaching the newcomers how to navigate the, uh, how to organize local events, how to, uh, how to uh, at least uh, operate the uh, basics of uh, Wikimedia, like uh, the Wikisource, or the Wikidata. Wikidata also has uh, a uh, a large uh, turnout. Okay, but we didn't stop there because uh, as uh, the lessons learned in twenty seventeen in Montreal, we want Wikimania to be well documented. That's why it will be used for future generations, or at least in the short term, uh, those who didn't attend Wikimania. That's why all the videos, include the basic ones, are available either on YouTube, uh, on Wikimedia Commons, and Facebook. Yeah, thank you, uh, Butch. This was really a 
an insightful answer. I have a question, but it's from you know a perspective of organizing events. Uh, when you organize an event, you, of course, you know it's really nice to have other people tell you how they evaluate your event. But when it comes to self-evaluation, one might miss a lot. What are your thoughts and ideas about self-evaluation of events that you know that one engages in or one organizes? This is my question. Yeah, actually, it depends on the perspective of the the person. Uh, there are persons who are somewhat uh, humble that uh, they want uh, others to uh, judge their work. Okay, but the others are some. Uh, pragmatic and practical if see they see something wrong they put some notes on it if there is time to rectify it uh they have to they can they can do it uh if there, it's, it's been months in advance or even hours uh, before uh an activity uh if that can be rectified it has to be done uh, but if it if the event is already concluded the best thing that you could do is just offer some good advice to the next host or future host of similar events uh, even if it is just a small uh, outreach activity or a, a regional event all the lessons that we have in organizing events because uh, event, event planning uh, as uh, I as, uh, as I foresee uh, is scalable uh, if you're organizing a local event of course uh, you know the there are a lot of documented uh, best practices already. If you go up to regional conferences, of course, the first thing, uh, the added complexities there are cultural differences among your peers in the region. Uh, like in ESIAP, uh, we have uh, various cultural differences. Uh, uh, there are Christians, there are Muslims, there are Buddhists, there are, uh, there are uh, who can understand English, those who cannot even understand a Latin text. Uh, they're just dependent on their uh, scripts. Uh, some are very conservative, some are liberal. Uh, so uh, that's the first lesson that you will be able to learn uh, when you're engaging events for the first time, how you would calibrate in the next, in, in, in future uh, occurrences. However, Wikimania is uh, complex. Uh, of course, uh, aside from that one is uh, you have to, or look into external factors as well, because uh, since this is a big event, of course, the thing that uh, you need to worry about is, of course, the international community, uh, because uh, those who are coming from the West didn't have that experience from the East. And then uh, all those who have uh, uh, joined for the first time, also, you will need to engage that with experienced people. So uh, again, uh, being in uh, in various events would, would give you some uh, uh, experience on how you would scale up in the, from from small, small uh, events to up and uh, uh, lessons learned you can you can uh, chat down that notes to yourself or you can just chat it to your to your uh, small group or uh, you can uh, freely document that on meta and let the future host or uh, related hosts will be able to grasp that idea. And I'm also benefit be, benefactor on that one when uh, the um, uh, the previous host, which is uh, the uh, the previous uh, host in Stockholm uh, narrated all the the uh, strong points and weak points uh, when they're when they have organized the event. And then also uh, the uh, my personal experience as well as a participant. That's why uh, that's one of the things that uh, I normally do when, when I'm engaged in events and what to do in the future. That's great. There are two questions on the chat box. Do you want me to read or? You oh, yeah, want... go ahead, please, yes. Yeah, 511KEV has a question and he thanks your organizing team. And then he would like to hear what according to you did not work well during the event. And he has a next question. What should organizers focus on while preparing for organizing an event, both in terms of large scale events and you know small scale events? Okay. 
uh, let me go to the first question. Um, of course, uh, there will be some unexpected uh, events, uh, but it can be planned in beforehand. That is, uh, of course, uh, uh, contingency met measures for, in, uh, for instance, uh, there are uh, in Wikimania, someone left a bag. And of course, there are people who are conscious. Uh, they don't know if that bag is unsafe. So they called in the police and there are some police came into Wikimania. Uh, and then of course, uh, they, uh, some, some panic, some are relaxed. But of course, uh, those are the things that we need to look onto because uh, of course, uh, uh, you have a, a diverse a group of people. So you don't know who are, uh, already uh, attending uh, large conferences, how they behave, and some are uh, going to on their in, just international engagement for the first time. And uh, sometimes they left their, sometimes they, they brought in their local uh, uh, attitude into Singapore. And uh, of course, it didn't work well. So uh, sometimes the, that, that, that happens. Uh, another thing is uh, since we, Wikimedians are a diverse society. Uh, we are an editing community. That means that uh, uh, people self-organize. So uh, as much as we want to uh, uh, look into all the activities of Wikimedians throughout the conference, th there are really Wikimedians who organize on their own beyond the meetup. And uh, of course, we have to look into the trust and safety and all other uh, measures that we ensure that our, uh, we have some boundaries into accountabilities and what will happen on those unorganized or un, uh, unannounced events or un, uh, uncoordinated events. But of course, that's one of the things that we also want to tell uh, the future organizers. But in a local, in a smaller scale, this normally don't happen. Usually, if if you only have uh, fifty people or even less, they don't self organize. Usually, they they just follow with what is in the program flow. Uh, for the second question is, uh, what will be uh, the focus on pre pre preparing? If you are just organizing the uh, a small scale event, uh, you just look into the documented. Uh, information available on meta uh, wiki uh, meta wiki also outreach uh, that wikimedia.org also have uh, useful resources in organizing uh, events uh, the uh, conference uh, grants you could also get how the uh, the people who organized events before or future events uh, organize their their activities, uh, how they prepare their feasibility plans uh, to uh, scholarships, uh, program planning, logistics. Uh, so, but if it would go to an international scale, just uh, like the hackathon that happened in Athens, uh, the GLAM conference that happened in uh, Montevideo, in Uruguay, uh, in uh, and then, uh, of course, Wikimania, uh, that is a different animal because uh, that's uh, where you will be engaging the international community. And uh, that that uh, requires a lot of hours of planning. And then uh, also um, uh, a lot of uh, patience and commitment uh, to make sure that the event would go uh, as planned. But of course, there will be unplanned uh, uh, and as much as possible, you want to make it perfect. But of course, nothing is perfect, but it's better to plan it near perfect. So uh, uh, you will be expecting some uh, errors, uh, hiccups, uh, bloopers that will happen on the way. But as much as possible, you want to have that minimized. Yeah, this is really an insightful solution to a lot of issues that we could use when organizing events, whether large scale or, you know, the small scale events. Uh, and uh, to add to that point, Afi, is uh, uh, 
I'm really grateful that uh, the Wikimedia movement or just the, the ECF community is very, very open and uh, frank in, uh, in our planning. And uh, there are really passionate Wikimedians who have uh, been contributing, suggesting uh, activities like, for instance, uh, the karaoke. The karaoke was not on the original planning, but it was suggested by our community members of ECF. Uh, the uh, traditional attires, uh, that was a lesson that we uh, saw in uh, the Cape Town uh, Wikim Wikimania uh, as, a, as a suggestion, but was not entertained by the host. So we thought that uh, we uh, adopted in uh, 2023. Uh, another uh, suggestion from uh, community members is the global map or the map. Of course, uh, uh, we have uh, some community members who are uh, from the islands. So uh, previously, they they, uh, they are complaining that the maps that were created in Kimenya didn't drew the islands. So uh, we make sure they organize, uh, when we talk with, with the vendors, uh, which is the service providers, uh, to make sure that the map is accurate as possible. Uh, so that uh, we, but of course, uh, in 2023, uh, we also receive a lot of new suggestions uh, and new comments, uh, which we would just uh, pass it over to the next host, because of course we cannot rectify that uh, anymore because of, time constraints. Yes, uh, I hope that the I hope that the uh, organizers of 2024 would be able to incorporate the karaoke. And uh, with the wiki races, we didn't expect that it was really uh, uh, elevated to the high like an Olympic level of competition like uh, I thought it will be just a fun activity but Lo and behold, people are really serious <laughs> scrolling in their phones. And then the fashion show, oh my God, the, the fashion show, we thought it was just a, a just a uh, random thought of uh, just let's have some fun. And then people uh, unexpectedly really make it uh, to the extreme that they really uh, tailored their uh, attire uh, for the fashion show. And... Uh, Really, Wikimedians are really passionate in uh, their craft, and uh, they, if if you want them to to have some fun, they want it uh, plus plus. <laughs> yes, this is this is a huge, honestly. Uh, my own observation with uh, Wikimania twenty twenty three has been that uh, the capability of audience uh, with regards to time was concerned. You know, it was taken into care like uh, the sessions were not too long and they were like uh, five minute sessions 10 minute sessions and 15 minute sessions even 30 minutes and i honestly i don't remember if there was like uh, a single session with one speaker that went too long so this is my personal observation uh, that when one you know engages in events or organizes the time should be considered that, you know, it doesn't go too long that people feel bored. And I would like uh, to hear from you, how did you make up with such a plan or, you know, how did you, did you consider any plan B as well? And uh, what kind of considerations were your mind when you planned like these sessions? Actually, Afi, thank you for that feedback. Actually, it was not really our intent <laughs> to uh, that previous uh, audience have experienced boring speakers, uh, experience that uh, the session is taking too long. Uh, we took into just into consideration the uh, enormous number of submissions that we received. Uh, from the time that we closed Wikimania uh, program submissions on uh, March 28th of 2023, we received 594 program submissions. So uh, we have to uh, uh, form, uh, I have, uh, have uh, we have formed a 32 person screening committee, uh, subcommittee to look into these 594 submissions. 
And uh, of course, it doesn't stop there because uh, uh, we also have some uh, thoughts on how we would further improve Wikimania that are not in the program submission. So that's uh, that total actually to 603 uh, uh, topics all in all. So we have to narrow th that down. And uh, the best way to look at it is uh, how we would uh, fully automate uh, optimize the use of the rooms. Uh, that's why we need to ensure that all uh, have rooms. And then normally uh, there are cases that uh, there are uh, passionate question and answers. But uh, in my experience before, not all sessions have passionate question and answers. Some, some end early in their sessions. So uh, we, we thought that uh, we could just use the lounge and then if people have some additional questions to the speaker, they could just go to the lounge and then talk. But that is not an original idea. That idea actually came from 2021. Uh, remember, if, if you watch the, uh, if you join Wikimania 2021, there is a large uh, virtual hall of, if in case you already went on uh, near overtime or, or you're already times up, and the discussion is still in, in high mode, uh, you can just go to another uh, virtual room and discuss it there. But of course, in Singapore, we are constrained in physical rooms. So what we did is uh, we need to ensure that the, if they, they want to continue the conversation, they just go over to the, uh, to the lounge or to the uh, uh, concourse area to discuss uh, the topic that was in hand. And then also, there's also the hallway. So uh, those are the things that we have uh, thought during the uh, the program planning stage. But of course, we appreciate your feedback about uh, the turnout of uh, of this one because uh, the, our sessions are really deserve to have it long. Uh, but many of the uh, what we call in show and tell uh, sessions. Uh, we need to be we need, we need to have it shortened as uh, much as, as possible uh, if not lightning talk at least uh, get, they uh, they were given uh, a deserving 20 minute session yeah it, it it helps exactly and thanks for the answer you know i have been able to and find solutions to a number of problems that were running in my mind. Exactly. Yeah, and you also need to look, uh, this is standard also when you're organizing regional events and also thematic events. If you saw, see at least uh, two submissions uh, that are closely rele relevant to each other, they, they will just uh, form it into one. So, uh, we're there are cases that we're able to merge four into one, uh, uh, three into one, uh, but it's difficult to have it five into one. That's why we have that uh, lightning talk uh, session that lasted two hours. So uh, that's uh, the lightning talk uh, ran five minutes each. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hello. So out of 603 programs, how much were left at the end? Uh, I think it went to 300 and uh, I think three, about 350, 352 if, if I'm not mistaken, around adult, adult range, near uh, more than 50%. Because some of them went to, pro, uh, what is this? Uh, poster sessions. Uh, some of them, we encourage them to uh, uh, pre-record. Uh, but of course, uh, that's one of the things that we want to work on in the future Wikimania, how we would convince people to pre-record their, their, their sessions. Because uh, if they didn't get the Wikimania uh, 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 to present in Wikimania, Probably we just convince them to uh, to pre-record and then we can just put it on the on-demand section. Again, the this is uh, Wikimania doesn't uh, is not officially over when it's done. You could just uh, put it into the uh, on-demand section and uh, all the on-demand se sessions we also lined it them up with the regular sessions so that uh, it won't appear to be them uh, that they are segregated. So uh, we're hoping that those who didn't uh, accept the, the fate of uh, uh, 
didn't didn't uh, get through Wikimania, but we offered them uh, a choice to pre-record the session to to reconsider that uh, as well in the future. Thank you. I see Nikos has raised his hand. Yes, please. Uh, thank you. So I would uh, like to ask you about uh, some questions about this. Uh, how difficult it was uh, to get uh, Wikimania uh, courses in Singapore? How difficult was the application? How was the how difficult was the process to uh, get uh, a Wikimania in Singapore? Because uh, this is, of course, uh, a big endeavor. And also, uh, uh, generally, uh, how much uh, people had to work in order to make this uh, brilliant event uh, through? Uh, 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 yes, uh, this is my question. And also I have another one question. Uh, uh, as now we are trying to do an event, uh, a conference uh, for a new project called Wiki for Minorities together some other people, which will be your advice to uh, event organizers? Uh, which uh, want to organize international conference together with uh, other people? Hmm. Actually, uh you have to uh, again solicit advice of your peers within the organizing team because you the the thought process should not be on the leader himself or herself because uh, other people on the organizing committee would have their 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 thoughts there might be times that you might disagree with them but in the long run uh their their thoughts can be considered uh and will be useful to uh, the planning so uh, again it's 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 still uh, uh, sometimes it's sometimes it's volatile uh, that uh, uh, that one that what you have envisioned sometimes didn't work out or sometimes what you have uh, thought about for uh, further blossomed uh, on the the conference so Again, it, it's uh you have to work with your with your peers in uh, in put in setting up first the foundation of your conference, uh, making sure that all the the requisites are or the 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 things needed are in there, and then the lessons learned from the previous uh, host or uh, related host of uh, such conferences. Wisely, thank you. Yes. Uh, thank you. Does that answer your question, Nikos, or do you have any other questions? Uh, uh, yes, this answer was uh, very uh, good and very interesting. Uh, I have. Uh, I would like to make another question if it doesn't uh, uh, take very much time for books. Uh, I would like. I'm really curious uh, how uh, much people had the uh, work to work in all uh, these things. Uh, and how uh, scholarships, uh, for example, were uh, reviewed by the organizers. Uh, I mean, the process, uh, because I, I'm really curious to learn uh, more about this. Actually, uh, I recommend that you watch the session about the scholarships. Uh, it was uh, it was a mention in the, the uh, conference, but uh, in a gist on that one, each host has their own uh, qualities on selecting participants in the conference. Uh, I alone, uh, my, my thought on the scholarship process, it is a really a um, tenuous uh, discussion because uh, there are friends, uh, a fr uh, Wikimedian friends uh, didn't get along because another got scholarship and he didn't. Uh, some uh, are really grateful, uh, were surprised that they got scholarships. But uh, the uh, the qualities of uh, the Wikimedian in uh, that you will be uh, joining through a scholarship, uh, the the two things that you need to look into. One is will that person give value to your conference? Will that person will just be doing a a junket in your city and uh, tour around the city and don't join the conference? Or will that person will be uh, further uh, improve or give value to the discussions within the conference. Another thing is, will that person be able to bring that lessons that they learned from the conference when they go back to their communities? That's the most uh, essential thing that we're looking for in every uh, hosting uh, a scholarship process. 
Yeah, exactly. So basically, there's uh, there's no set rules actually in scholarship. But again, I was not in the scholarship. It was Nangara, but uh, I was uh, uh, sometimes being advised in the, the process of the scholarship process. Uh, thank you. These uh, answers were uh, uh, covered my questions uh, pretty uh, uh, satisfactorily. Thank you, Nikos. Yeah, that's really great to hear that Butch has been able to satisfy everyone. Uh, Andrew has some other ideas uh, on the chat box that could help us understand a lot of issues about uh, engaging in events. Butch, uh, do you have any ideas about mm, the insightful ideas that Andrew has shared? Yes, actually, one of uh, Andrew is correct. Um... When uh, when your host when your uh, when a person or group of uh, Wikimedians uh, send a proposal to host Wikimania, the first thing that they, we need to know is are those people technically prepared to host a conference? Because uh, uh, this is not just a person that you're opening your doors for a birthday party. So uh, that you you will give them some food and enjoy the drinks. This is a conference. So you need to make sure that they are technically equipped in or, or mentally equipped as well in, in handling uh, uh, such uh, activities like this. Uh, another thing that uh, Andrew had mentioned is uh, the location, of course. Uh, it's quite a complex. It's sometimes... Uh, you have to do some hard data and uh, interviews. Uh, that's why uh, when when selecting a city, uh, we need to make sure the external factors, uh, like uh, is there uh, a, a conflict happening in, in the close proximity? Uh, is the community itself has a conflict? Uh, uh, is the community... Uh, uh, in that area, welcome the idea of having Wikimania in their city. So uh, location-wise also that will be evaluated. And uh, yeah, very soon you will know uh, who, uh, which city in uh, East Africa will host Wikimania 2025. So uh, those, uh, we that's why we, uh, when we, we selected the city uh, for uh, Africa, we need to make sure that we we made the uh, we we are firm our with our decision and then it is carefully thought about. Yeah, thank you. We have last two, three minutes three minutes and before we close formally, I have one last question for you. Do you think that evaluation and iteration really helps? You know. I'm sorry, the what? Uh, do you think that evaluation really works or it's just, you know, a bunch of words that people say? Yeah, that, that serves as your metric because uh, you don't know if you did well. Uh, you also need to know if uh, you have exceeded expectations. Uh, you also need to know if uh, the plan that the, the vision that you want complemented with the odd the target audience that you have for instance you want this vision but the the vision uh what the the expected participants didn't uh uh welcome uh your vision so it uh you need to the evaluation would uh, serve as a, a parameter wherein uh if uh you you your your thoughts or your vision have been uh in sync and uh, again, it, we really value the evaluation process because uh, uh, that serves as, as our um, uh, our only complement uh, or uh, because we're, of course, we're volunteers, we're not paid, but the only thing that would serve us is uh, our, our quote remuneration in our all our hard efforts is how the audience would receive uh, or how they, they have experienced Wikimania or whatever event that you are hosting. Yeah, thank you, Puj, for joining us today for this conversation hour. We have, you know, 
learned a lot from you, from your experiences. And thanks to Andrew for joining hand to hand and sharing a lot of his experiences. I've really been uh, an admirer of Andrew for his expertise and knowledge. Thank you everyone for joining, for asking questions.